The detail panel allows you to do two main things. It allows you to sharpen your photo and reduce noise. I'm going to start out with sharpening and I'll get to the noise reduction in the next video. When I sharpen my images, I like to zoom in. You can either use this box to highlight a specific area and you do that just by clicking on that little icon in the upper left and then just hovering over the area that you want to feature and then click. And then you can also go inside that box and move it around if you want to see a different location. But I also like to zoom into the image as well just so I can get a better uh, view of it when I'm sharpening. But first I'm going to start out zoomed out. And instead of starting at the top slider, I'm going to go down to the bottom slider and set the masking. Now Lightroom wants to sharpen the entire image. By default, the masking slider is set to zero, which means that the entire image is going to have the sharpening applied. If I were to move the slider to the right, and the best way to do this is to hold the Option or Alt key while you're moving the slider. As I do this, I can see that the image is kind of coming through in a black and white. And any area that is white is what is going to be masked. And so I can fine tune it. I'm really mostly looking at the fly and of course some of those uh, little flower petals are going to end up getting masked as well and that's fine. But I don't want the overall image because I have a lot of out of focus areas in the background. And when you start to sharpen those out of focus areas, things can get really kind of funny looking. All right, so I have my masking set. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And now I can really just kind of focus on the head and the eyes of this fly. The amount slider will determine the overall amount of sharpening and it will affect both the radius and the detail slider below it. I'm just going to move this to a pretty high amount to get started so we can kind of see some of the changes as I make them. The radius slider will determine how much sharpening to apply and how much of a radius to apply that sharpening to along each edge. This is another slider that you can hold that option or alt key down and if you were to move it to the right you can actually see that area of sharpening increase or decrease. The detail slider tells Lightroom how much or how little of the details to sharpen. For example, at a setting of zero, only the very small details in the image are being sharpened. And if you move this slider to the right, the larger the details are, the, the more they are likely to be sharpened. Again, you can use the Option or Alt key to move this slider around and you can actually see those changes in kind of a, a grayscale over your image. Once you have that radius and detail slider set, you can go back and fine tune the amount slider. And by holding the Option or Alt key, you can see it in black and white, which kind of helps give you a clearer picture to kind of take away the, the color, the distraction of the color in the image. And now I'll go ahead and toggle that before and after so you can see the change.